everyone, Mr. Market here, and today I've got another Skype tool video for you. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to implement or edit the mass message even further, uh, just to make it a little bit better for the users. Um, so what this is going to do is actually enable you to select what sort of online status you want to send to. So if you only want the mass message to be sent to online contacts, so the message gets through quicker, or you only want online people to see the message, then you can do that or you can choose offline people I don't know why you'd want to do that but the options are there um, so before I get in with this I just want to say sorry for the lack of videos I'm genuinely getting bored with the Skype tool stuff um, I feel like I've been doing it forever and I sort of want to stop it um, so I need ideas of what people want to see so if you want something made just leave a comment on what you want to see made and I'll potentially do it because I am looking for new ideas um, so Let's get in with the video here. Uh, so you want to go into your mass message code, um, the send button, and this is what we have. We just have a for, uh, for each statement, and for each user, we're just sending them a message. Now, what we want to do is we can actually come in here. We might want to move this down a little bit. You can add in a combo box. So let's just move that down a little bit. Uh, we need a combo box, so we can take this one. Uh, we want to edit the items in this in this combo box so click this little arrow edit items um, it's already got some in because I copied it so yeah we should have actually left them online offline away busy um, and we can say all in case you want to send them to all as usual press ok uh, let me just line this up a little bit like so and that one up so this is combo box 3 so what you want to do in your send message code um, you sort of want to have a global if statement we we want to do it outside of our for statement that's already there so if you come down and you want to say if combo box oops I put that there if combo box 3 dot selected item is equal to um, let's say online what we want to do is then we want to come in here with the code that we've already got we just want to copy that in like that remove that and we want to put it inside our new if statement um, except because we're doing it for online we're going to add another if statement within this part but if you were just let's say we do the just under here we can say else if combo box 3 got selected item is equal to all uh, then what we can do is just have the code how we had it normally because we don't need to have the if statement telling it to send it to a specific group so inside here just under the first for statement here we want to say if because we're using user user dot online status is equal to and you just want to select the online one then that's it and now we just want to make sure that we add the extra end if in at the bottom there like so so all we did is add a simple if statement in to check if the user's online and if they are then they're going to receive the message and then what you want to do is for the rest you'd obviously want to just change this online to the offline and so on so that's pretty much it but I will add some more in just so you get the idea so after we've done all we want to come in uh, just under this next, we want to say else if combo box three uh, dot selected item is equal to offline. Uh, then we want to paste our code in. Except we want to come under here now and say if user dot online status is equal to offline. Then let's just add in the and if there, like so, and that's online, offline added. So I may as well go ahead and add the rest, because um, this video seems kind of short. But as I said in the start, I'm sort of running out of ideas, and I'm sort of getting bored of it at the same time. So yeah, don't forget to suggest something for me to make in the description in the comments. Combo box three, got selected item. Uh, it's equal to let's just say busy. Um, except for busy 
it's not actually called busy, it's just do not disturb. So you want to say if user online status is equal to do not disturb and then add in that final end if down here and that should be good to go. So now I'm not going to send one because I don't like to annoy my contacts but once you've launched that up I'll give it a quick launch. Um, and actually what, what I should have showed you which I will show you actually let me stop debugging that. Uh, you want to send when you send the message you want to check if the selected item like is selected you want to check if this is empty or not um, because it needs to know what it wants to send to uh, actually let me just start this up anyway so what you'll do with this is you'd enter your text as usual what you want to send to your users and then you need to now select who you want to send it to um, so if we left that blank and send that it would kind of break because we don't have any checks to check if this is empty or not but as usual you'll select I want to send it to all and then you'll send um, so I hope that did help you um, yeah don't forget to leave the comments of what you want to see for the next video and I hope you did enjoy the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time